All right, folks, today we're diving into the world of AI with a tool called Amy. No, not your best friend from high school, but a cool AI aiming assistant for gamers. Now, don't get any funny ideas. This isn't for multiplayer hacks, so put those cheat dreams away. Amy's all about helping those with physical or visual impairments get that sweet precision in games. It uses AI to detect enemies, tweak your mouse movements, and even handle recoil. Pretty slick, right? But a quick heads up, there've been some concerns about security, so be cautious where you download it from. Stay safe, aim sharp, and let's dive into how you can train your very own AI model. Let's go. All right, step one, we're getting Python 3.10.5, not 3.11, not 3.9. 3.10.5 is the MVP today. Head over to the Python website, scroll a bit like you're looking for a snack in the fridge, and grab the Windows installer x64. Now, when you run it, super important, check that little box that says add Python 10 to path. Trust me, missing this is like forgetting the fries with your burger. Uh, at the end of the installation, if it asks about sure disable path length limit, hit yes. Be bold. Then open up command prompt like a hacker in the movies and type pip install pi auto guy pi input. Boom, you're geared up for the next step. Let's keep rolling. Now that Python is locked and loaded, we've got two paths ahead of us. The fancy expensive software route, because who doesn't love burning money? Or the cheapskate special. That's right, I've got a free Python script for you. This little gem grabs screenshots, 640 by 640 pixels right from the middle of your screen, every two seconds. It's like a paparazzi for your monitor. All the screenshots get saved neatly in a folder named stutss on your desktop. Important pro tip, make sure you're not running multiple monitors, otherwise things might get weird. Oh, and when you're ready to stop the script, just hit the delete key. Easy peasy, let's grab those screenshots and keep this train moving. Picture time. Once you've gathered around 300 in-game screenshots, yes, that's your AI's homework, head over to Roboflow roboflow.com, sign in with your Google account. Step two, hit that shiny new project button. Name it something catchy like Enemy Finder, and for the annotation group, type enemy, because that's what we're training our AI to hunt down, and make it a public project. After that, upload those precious screenshots by selecting your files or the whole folder. Once they're up, press save and continue. Now, grab a coffee or energy drink of choice, because it'll take a few minutes for the upload to finish. Then, voila, you're one step closer to AI greatness. Upload done? Nice. Now it's time for some hands-on work. Click, click off, start manual labeling on the right side. Trust me, this method is the best. Zero cost, just your time and a bit of focus. Then head to your profile and assign the job to myself. Yeah, you're officially the AI's personal trainer now. Click start annotating, pick an image and get to work. Here's the deal. If you don't see an enemy in the picture, click the mark null button at the bottom right. If you do see an enemy, hold control and use your mouse to draw a box around them. Use the arrow keys to hop to the next image or go back to double check your work. It's super simple, but don't rush it. This will take about 30 minutes. So grab a snack, get comfy, and remember, the more precise your labeling, the smarter your AI will be. All right, let's have a quick chat because we need to talk about Amy and multiplayer games. Now, I know it's tempting, but using Amy to get an edge in multiplayer is a big no-no. First off, a lot of people have been getting banned for using it in online games. You know, developers don't like when you cheat your way to victory. And let's be real, it's just ruining the fun for everyone else. Multiplayer games are meant to be a fair fight, not an AI-assisted grind fest. So if you're thinking about using Amy for multiplayer, just remember, it's not worth it. Let's keep games fun, fair, and free from those annoying cheaters ruining it for the rest of us. Let's wrap this up. Head over to the Annotate tab on the left sidebar. At the top right, click on New Version. Don't worry, we're keeping things simple here. I wouldn't change a thing. These settings are already optimized. Just click Continue at every step and then hit Create at the end. Now, sit tight for a minute or two while RoboFlow works its magic and generates your file. Once that's done, click Download Database at the top right. For the format, choose YOLO V8, and for the radio button, select Download Zip to Computer, because we're not in the mood for extra fees, right? Don't check Train Model for Label Assist with RoboFlow, because, hey, we're keeping it budget-friendly. Hit Continue, 
and boom, you're almost there. All right, let's unpack that database. Extract the zip file wherever you like. I'll pop it on my desktop. Now open the extracted folder and find data.yaml. Right click on it, hit open with, and choose notepad. It'll open up like a blank canvas for us. Now let's fix the paths for train, tray, test, and valid folders. First, go into the train folder, find images, and left click on it. Hold down shift, right click on it, and pick copy as path. That's like a secret code for the folder location. Go back to notepad and paste it in. Don't forget to remove those pesky colons at the start and end of the path. Do the same for valid and test folders. Once done, hit save and close notepad. You've got it. Before we can start training our AI, there's a little thing we gotta do, install some Python packages. Without these, you'll run into errors and nobody wants that. So open up the pip install.txt file. Copy the whole text inside it. Don't worry, it's not a secret code, just some fancy software names. Then hop over to command prompt, right click and paste that text in. For me, this goes pretty fast because I'm already all set up, but for you, it might take up to 20 minutes. It's like waiting for your pizza to bake, but worth it. Once it's done, you're ready to start training that AI. Just don't go on vacation while it installs. Now, go into the extracted folder, then click on the location bar at the top. Type command and hit enter. This will open command prompt right where you need it. Magic, right? Next, grab the text from start.txt, copy it and paste it into the newly opened command prompt window. Quick note, I've set my batch to 48 because I've got eight gigabytes of GPU memory. If you've got less, no worries. Set it to 24 if you have four gigabytes or 12 for two gigabytes. Hit enter and let your graphics card work its AI wizardry. It'll take around 20 minutes, so sit back, relax, and maybe grab a snack. Just don't go hitting the keyboard like you're typing a message to your crush. You don't want to interrupt the process. Congrats, you've successfully trained your model. Now, let's get that best.p file into a format Amy understands. First, head into the extracted folder and look for the new runs folder. Open it, then go into the detect folder, then into the weights folder. You should see best.pt and last.pt. Feel free to delete last.pt, it's just taking up space. Now, here's where the magic happens. Copy the two scripts I gave you stashel c to pi and ir9.pi. cpypy will convert bestie into a best.onx file, and then ir9.py will convert that best.onx from ir10 to ir9, because of course Amy doesn't support ir10, because why would it? Run cpy first, then ir9.py, and boom, you're done. You've made it this far, which means you've spent about four to five hours of your life on this. I hope your computer appreciates it. If not, well, at least you've learned something, but don't tell anyone. They might think you're crazy for sitting here for five hours just to teach an AI to find enemies. But hey, what else do we have but time? 